Hello, Canada, and thank you for joining me and all of us here at TSN for another exciting Special Olympics Canada National Awards Night. It is so great to be back, and I really don't know where the year has gone, but I do know that it was an exciting year for Special Olympics Canada with the Special Olympics Team Canada back on the world stage and with some amazing results. And this evening, we'll be hearing some incredible stories of athletes, coaches, and of course, volunteers. And joining me tonight as my co-host, is Annick Legere, Special Olympics athlete from Ontario. She is a true champion of all athletes. So please welcome Annick to the Annick and now Vic show. Thank you, Vic. Hi, everyone. It is so exciting to be your co-host this evening. I get to celebrate all the amazing people in Special Olympic with all of you. I've been a Special Olympic Ontario athlete for 15 years, I was so proud to be part of the many athletes representing Canada at the Special Olympic World Game in Germany this year. You did very well. Congratulations to everyone. Now, before we begin to celebrate the award winners tonight, we must acknowledge the Indigenous peoples of all the lands that we are on today. These lands are steeped in rich indigenous history and modern traditions. As a community, we have the responsibility to honor and respect the four directions, land, waters, plants, animals, and ancestors. Today, this area is home to many indigenous peoples from across Turtle Island. At Special Olympics, we respect, acknowledge, and thank the First Nations, Métis, and Inuit of Canada on whose traditional territory we play, learn, and live today. So shall we get this evening underway, Nick? And to start things off, would you please welcome Nayusha Zaranpour, the Chair, Board of Directors, Special Olympics Canada. Good evening, and thank you, Vic and Anik, for a warm welcome and for being our co-host this evening. Welcome, everyone, to the National Awards Night, a night of celebration like no other. Nous vous souhaitons la bienvenue à la soirée des remises de prix nationaux au cours de laquelle nous vivrons des émotions hautes en couleurs. I am honored and incredibly excited to be here this evening as the new chair of the Board of Directors for Special Olympics Canada. It is with profound gratitude and a strong sense of responsibility that I take on this role, 
following in the footsteps of our esteemed outgoing chair, Charles Bordolo. Tonight is to recognize and honor the remarkable achievements of our athletes and the tireless dedication of our volunteers from every corner of this great country. Ce soir, nous célébrons l'esprit d'inclusion, l'esprit sportif et l'esprit de communauté véritable. Often, our athletes face challenges both on and off the field that many could hardly imagine. And yet, they've shown us time and again that there are no limits to what can be achieved with determination and heart. Our volunteers, the backbone of Special Olympics Canada, have given their time, their passion, and their unwavering support to help our athletes thrive, both in sport and in life. Their commitment is nothing short of extraordinary. Nos bénévoles, qui constituent la pierre angulaire d'Olympique Spécial Canada, donnent de leur temps, partagent leur passion et offrent un soutien indéfectible pour aider nos athlètes à s'épanouir dans la vie comme dans le sport. Tonight, we not only celebrate their achievements, but also the bonds that unite us, the friendships formed, the barriers broken, and the dreams fulfilled. As we embark on this evening of recognition, let us remember that Special Olympics is about more than just sports. It's about empowering individuals to reach their full potential. It's about fostering a cultural inclusion and respect. It's about creating a world where everyone is given the opportunity to shine. And now I have the distinct honor and privilege to introduce Special Olympic Canada new CEO, Gail Hamamoto. And maintenant, j'ai l'immense honneur et privilège de présenter la nouvelle directrice générale d'Olympique Spécial Canada, Gail Hamamoto. Gail Hamamoto brings with her a wealth of experience and a deep commitment to our mission of empowerment and inclusion. Her journey to this stage has been marked by dedication and tireless advocacy for individuals with disabilities. Gail's career is a testament to her passion for creating a world of acceptance, respect, and opportunity. La carrière de Gail témoigne de sa détermination à créer un monde empreint d'acceptation, de respect et de possibilité. But it's not just her impressive resume that makes Gail the right person for this role. It's her heart, her shared belief in the power of sport to change lives. She understands the transformative impact that Special Olympics has on our athletes and the broader community. I have every confidence that under her leadership, Special Olympics Canada will continue to inspire to grow and to make a profound difference in the lives of our athletes. So without further ado, please join me in giving a warm and enthusiastic welcome to our new CEO, Gail Hamamoto. Thank you, Nayusha. An official hello to the Special Olympics Canada family. Merci, Nayusha, et bonjour à toute la famille d'Olympique Spécial Canada. As I step into this position, I want to express my heartfelt appreciation to the entire Special Olympics Canada community our athletes, volunteers, families, and supporters. Your unwavering commitment to our mission has built a legacy of inclusion and empowerment that is truly inspiring. Merci à toute la communauté d'Olympique Spécial Canada. Nos athlètes, nos bénévoles, les familles, et les partisans et partisanes. The journey ahead is bound to be filled with new challenges and opportunities, but I have absolute faith that together, as a united and passionate community, we will continue to break barriers and reach new heights. Our athletes and volunteers are the heartbeat of this organization, and I am committed to working tirelessly to ensure that Special Olympics Canada continues to thrive and expand its reach. I'm humbled by the dedication of our athletes, who demonstrate every day that determination and courage know no bounds. And I am inspired by our volunteers who give so selflessly of their time and expertise to make a difference in the lives of our athletes. It's this collective spirit that fuels our movement and propels us forward. In the coming years, my focus will be on working with our 12 provincial and territorial chapters, strengthening our partnerships, reigniting and re-engaging the movement as we continue to build programs and advocate for greater inclusion and respect for all. Together, we will ensure that Special Olympics Canada remains a community centered on inclusion and opportunity, a place for individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities discover their full potential. Ensemble, nous veillerons à ce qu'Olympique Spécial Canada demeure une communauté centrée sur l'inclusion et les possibilités, 
un endroit où les personnes ayant déficience intellectuelle ou développementale peuvent dé découvrir leur plein potentiel. I'm excited to be on this journey with each and every one of you, whether you're an athlete striving for excellence, a volunteer giving your time and talents, a family member offering support, a friend cheering from the sidelines, or a donor or partner providing critical funding and resources. Your role is vital. Together, we will continue to build a more inclusive world where every individual has the chance to participate, to be heard, to shine, and to be valued. Let us embrace this challenge with enthusiasm and determination that our athletes show every day. Thank you for entrusting me with this responsibility. Let us move forward with this shared vision for our movement. Together, we will achieve great things. Merci de m'avoir confié cette responsabilité importante. Ensemble, faisons progresser cette vision commune de notre mouvement pour réaliser de grandes choses. But tonight, we are here to look back at the incredible accomplishments of our 2023 National Award winners. The recipients of tonight's awards embody all that we stand for, and we could not be prouder to recognize them here this evening. Félicitations à tous et à toutes. Que le spectacle commence. Congratulations to all. Let the show begin. Thank you both, Nayusha and Gail. Now, every National Awards Night, we take a moment to thank all of the extraordinary national partners of Special Olympics Canada. Prenons un moment pour remercier les partenaires nationaux d'Olympics Spéciaux Canada. Thousands of Special Olympic athletes across Canada have the opportunity to participate in sports, lead to a healthy lifestyle, make friends, and be part of the inclusive community because of the support of our national partners. We could not do it without them. So Special Olympics Canada would like to say a special thank you and acknowledge their incredible sport and program partners who provide countless resources, training, educational, and competition opportunities for our athletes, coaches, and of course, the volunteers. And also, let's not forget about the amazing volunteer and coaches. Without them, there wouldn't be no Special Olympic in our community. Et n'oublie pas nos formidables membres du personnel, entraînants et bénévoles, sans ces personnes, il n'y aura pas de programme d'Olympique spéciaux dans nos collectivités. I can't say enough how volunteers are essential to the movement. So let's show our appreciation to the volunteers with a little love and let them know how important they are and hope we, that we may just inspire others who are watching to get involved. We need you on our team. On that note, it is time to announce this year winner of the Jim Thompson Award, an award given to a volunteer who exemplifies the spirit of philosophy and goals of the Special Olympic movement who has made a significant contribution to the organization. Now this award, Nick, honors the memory of the late Mr. Jim Thompson, who was a mentor of mine, a driving force behind TSN's founding partnership with Special Olympics Canada, going all the way back to 1984, and a longtime supporter and a dear friend of the movement. And the winner is Janice Howe from Special Olympic Manitoba. I am honored to have been chosen as the Special Olympics Canada 2023 Jim Thompson Award winner. To be recognized for something I love to do is amazing. I am proud to have been part of the Special Olympics family for over 15 years and intend to keep on coaching and volunteering for as long as possible. Janice Howe has worn many hats during her dedicated involvement with Special Olympics Manitoba. She is the head coach of the competitive athletics programs, officiates at various track events, helps coordinate fundraisers and events, chairs the Winnipeg Regional Leadership Team, and most recently served as the chef de mission for the 2023 Provincial Winter Games. These roles, all voluntary, showcase her unwavering dedication. 
It is rewarding to watch our athletes become better people on and off the track, and they've helped me to become a better coach and person. Janice has remained a pillar of support throughout her 14 years volunteering and cares deeply, always encouraging athletes to believe in themselves and explore new horizons. I couldn't have done any of this without the help of the following people and organizations. Thank you to my family who supported and encouraged me to pursue my coaching dreams. To the staff and our Winnipeg regional team at Special Olympics Manitoba, you are amazing. To my assistant coaches and volunteers, I could not have done any of this without you. To Sport Manitoba and Athletics Manitoba, for their coaches training opportunities and mentorships. The biggest thank you goes to my team, Navi's TC, and all the athletes I've met throughout my Special Olympics journey. Thank you. And Nick, we have a special TSN personality joining us this evening, and she loves sports and loves coaching. Lindsay Hamilton, anchor for SportsCenter. Lindsay is the person ideal to announce the prix de entraîneur et entraîneuse de l'année. Hello, Special Olympics athletes, volunteers, friends, and family. Lindsay Hamilton here in the Sports Center newsroom, and it is a true honor to recognize the 2023 Coaches of the Year. Coaches can have a profound impact on our lives. And while they often go by one word, coach, they wear a number of different hats. They can be a source of guidance and inspiration, helping us achieve more than we ever thought possible and tap into our true potential. So tonight, we say thank you. No one knows the true meaning of Special Olympics more than the thousands of volunteer coaches across the country. They are mentors, trainers, friends, and role models to their athletes. Every Special Olympics athlete will tell you that every single coach deserves an award. But tonight, we are here to recognize the 2023 Coaches of the Year, selected from this outstanding list of finalists. Jeff Tyler, Special Olympics, Nova Scotia. Mark Hart. Special Olympics, Alberta. Michael Scott, Special Olympics, Manitoba. Edwina Renault, Special Olympics, Nova Scotia. Renee Stewart, Special Olympics, Ontario. Gail Jones, Special Olympics, British Columbia. And this year's first coach of the year is Mark Hart from Special Olympics, Alberta. Mark Hart's journey as a curling coach with Special Olympics spans two decades, crossing provincial borders from British Columbia to Alberta. His love for the game is infectious. As head coach, Mark guided his Special Olympics Grand Prairie curling team against all odds to a gold medal finish at the Special Olympics Alberta Provincial Games earlier this year. Mark Hart isn't just a coach, He's a role model. His athletes hold him in the highest regard, and his peers recognize him as the embodiment of what it means to be a Special Olympics coach, compassionate, dedicated, and a true advocate for athletes. Thank you, Special Olympics Canada, for this huge honor to be recognized for coaching. I am humbled by it. Being part of Special Olympics over the last 18 years has developed my coaching skills and given me many opportunities to use them locally, provincially, and nationally as well as giving me opportunities to witness athletes, learn skills, compete, win, lose, and all the while show us all how to be brave and simply attempting that which others and even themselves may have thought impossible. Thank you to my affiliate in Alberta for nominating me and Special Olympics Alberta for submitting my name for this national award. Thank you to my wife for inviting me to Special Olympics award ceremony and dance 20 years ago for our first date. I could have never dreamed just how much Special Olympics would change my life. And most importantly, thank you to all the athletes I've coached over the years in both BC and Alberta. You are the reason I volunteer and I am here today. Thank you so very much. And our second Coach of the Year award goes to Gail Jones, Special Olympics, British Columbia. Gail Jones serves as both the head coach of multiple sports as well as the local program coordinator for Special Olympics in her hometown of Smithers, British Columbia. Her enthusiasm and dedication are highly regarded by athletes, their families, caregivers, coaches and volunteers alike. She always takes the time to get to know each of the athletes, understand their lives and connect with them 
through both their joys and struggles to help them reach their full potential. Gail's genuine care for each athlete has inspired others within her community to get involved in the movement. Hi everyone. Thank you Special Olympics Canada for honoring me with the Coaches of the Year Award. I am humbled to receive an award for something that brings me such joy. My love of volunteering and coaching started when I was a teenager, volunteering with individuals with physical and intellectual disabilities at a community centre in my hometown. I went on to volunteer with many groups as my children grew up and participated in sports and community activities. I became involved with Special Olympics here in Smithers 10 years ago when I was approached to start a swim program and I was hooked on day one. Special Olympics athletes are so inspiring. They bring their joy of competition and hopes of inclusion to every practice and event. They work hard to reach their goals and always celebrate each other's achievements cheering on their fellow team members and competitors. I wanna thank Special Olympics for all of the coaching opportunities and training. It's given me the tools to be a better coach and the confidence to encourage others to also become Special Olympics coaches. I especially want to thank my Special Olympics Smithers family. And I do feel that we've become a family over the last 10 years, spreading out and participating with activities throughout our community. This year, three of our athletes got together and created a team and participated in our local Tai Lake Triathlon. They inspired and impressed everyone in attendance. What an amazing accomplishment and confidence builder. We support and encourage each other to always make every practice and event, as one of our athletes always says, the best day ever. Again, thank you. Congratulations on the well-deserved honor and thank you for all that you do. Thank you, Lindsay, and congratulations to Mark and Gail. Next, the Rising Star Coach of the Year Award. And Nick, this award recognizes a volunteer coach who has joined Special Olympics movement within the last five years and has made an incredible impact in that time, setting a shining example for the next generation of coaches to follow. And this year, Rising Star Coach of the Year Award goes to Oliver Storenset from Special Olympic Nova Scotia. I would like to start with thanking Special Olympics Canada. To be recognized as Rising Star Coach of the Year is truly an honor and something I'll never forget. My work with Special Olympics began in high school with a unified sport basketball program. Oliver Storseth's Special Olympics journey started in his high school's unified sports basketball program. After graduating high school, he coached his local Special Olympics soccer program, ultimately leading his team to provincial games. From there, I went on to work a variety of other roles, such as respite care, large and Ganesh summer camps, and coaching Special Olympics soccer. In these roles, I met wonderful volunteers, athletes, and coaches, one of whom I'd like to mention. Thank you, Joan Conrad, for your constant guidance and support and for inviting me to help with Unified Sport. It changed my life. To Joan and all other coaches, thank you for showcasing the importance of advocating for individuals of all abilities. This past year, I created a Unified Sport program at my university, St. Francis Xavier. This program creates opportunities for student athletes and individuals with disabilities to engage in sport together. While attending St. Francis Xavier University, Oliver spearheaded the Unified at X program, uniting student athletes and Special Olympics athletes across a variety of sports. Oliver secured facilities, recruited volunteers, rallied support, and led the program to resounding success in his first few years. To my fellow student athletes, thank you for believing in this program. Your willingness to learn and positive attitude have been admirable and I appreciate being able to work alongside all of you. And of course, to the athletes, thank you for welcoming me into your world and coming to practice each day with a smile on your face. The dedication to your sport is amazing to witness. In our time together, I've seen the beauty of sport for all abilities, how to be a good teammate and lots of awesome dance moves. Finally, thank you Special Olympics for leading me to my passion and allowing a space to witness athletic excellence. Oliver's journey with Special Olympics may just be beginning, and there's no doubt that this star will continue to rise. It's time now to hear from our Champions Network. It's a group of athletes and celebrities who give their time to support Special Olympics in a way that only they can, athlete to athlete, champion to champion. 
Hello, Jack Armstrong. Hey, everybody. Jesse Palmer here. Kyle Schufelt here. Cheryl Bernard here. It's Craig Simpson from Hockey Night in Canada. Congratulations to all of the winners this evening. We are so proud of you. Special congratulations. A huge congratulations. 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 Michelle Salt, two-time Paralympic snowboarder. And I just want to congratulate you on the role that you have played into making the Special Olympics what it is today. Your bravery is so inspiring. I love how you show up every single day in pursuit of your goals. You've done tremendous work, hard work and sacrifice and it all led to the Special Olympics being a massive success. Thank you to the parents, thank you to the volunteers, and thank you to the coaches for everything that you do to create a place and space for athletes to be at their best. Well, it inspires us all. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for all that you do for the Special Olympics movement. Congrats from my family to all of you brilliant athletes and the people that make it possible. Your families are proud, you make your communities proud, and we congratulate you on the amazing achievements of the past year. You're all winners, and we across Canada are proud of your accomplishment. You exemplify the spirit of what Special Olympics is all about. I hope you all enjoy the celebration. You're all champions. Keep working hard and dreaming big. Thank you to all our champions for those wonderful messages. You inspire me, and I know you inspire many of my fellow Special Olympic athletes watching. Merci à vous pour ce merveilleux message. Now, it is time to introduce the Frank Selke Jr. Fundraising Volunteer of the Year Award. Recognizing the invaluable impact fundraising across the movement. Hanek, this award honors the work of thousands of volunteers right across our country who make Special Olympics possible. This annual award is presented to a fundraising volunteer who has made a significant contribution to the movement, whether it be locally, provincially, and or nationally, and has best exemplified the spirit, philosophy, and the goals of Special Olympics. This year, Frank Selke Jr. Fundraising Volunteer of the Year Award winner is... Is... Peter Wilk from Special Olympic Manitoba. Good evening. It is my pleasure and privilege to accept the Frank Selke Jr. Fundraising Volunteer of the Year Award. I'd like to thank the selection committee for deeming me worthy of this honor, and I'd like to recognize my fellow nominees for the great work which helps support Special Olympics programming. Thank you to Simon Monday and Terry Hopkinson for initially introducing me to the Special Olympics in the late 1990s. Thank you to the Special Olympics Board for taking a chance in 2001 to invest in the Winnipeg Wine Festival. Your vision was rewarded with this festival quickly becoming the single largest fundraising event for Special Olympics Manitoba. Peter Wilk has been a committee member of the province's largest and longest standing fundraising event, the Winnipeg Wine Festival, since its inception. Peter not only plays a key role in raising significant funds for Special Olympics Manitoba, but he also formed meaningful connections with athletes, staff, volunteers and families, leaving a lasting impact on the organization. Thank you to the Special Olympics office staff for all your support, dedication and passion. I'd also like to thank all the sponsors, participating suppliers and volunteers who are critical to these events of success. My involvement with Special Olympics Manitoba has greatly enriched my life, and I've been grateful for every opportunity to give back to this organization. He's served two terms on the volunteer board of directors and continues to generously volunteer his time at various sporting events. Peter's dedication and advocacy for Special Olympics are commendable, making him an invaluable asset to the movement. Very special thank you to, goes out to all the hardworking coaches and especially the wonderful and talented athletes who are a true inspiration to me. Congratulations, Peter. Felicitations. Each year, our friends in law enforcement from big cities and small towns across Canada organize local fundraising event under the Law Enforcement Torch Run banner. And Nick, to uh, announce our next award, it is my honour to introduce the Chief of the York Regional Police, Jim McSween, to talk more about the legacy of Constable Rob Plunkett. 
Hi, I'm Chief Jim McSween. I'm so pleased to join you virtually to present the Rob Plunkett Law Enforcement Torch Run Award. Detective Constable Rob Plunkett was a 22-year veteran of York Regional Police who was tragically killed in the line of duty in August of 2007. Rob was a true ambassador for the promotion and inclusion of Special Olympics athletes through his hard work with the Torch Run. Rob served as the chair of the 2000 Special Olympics Ontario Spring Games, as well as the co-chair of the World Winter Games. Rob's legacy lives on, not only at this police service, but in services across this country. The Torch Run stands for respect, acceptance, and inclusion. The flame of hope we carry shows our admiration for the athletes Rob spent decades supporting. This year's winner of the Rob Plunkett Law Enforcement Torch Run Award is Mike McDonnell. Mike McDonnell has been a dedicated volunteer with over 35 years of unwavering commitment to the Law Enforcement Torch Run for Special Olympics. Throughout the years, Mike has actively engaged with local Special Olympics programs across Ontario, becoming a mentor and friend to countless athletes. He has helped raise more than $1 million for Special Olympics and has played a pivotal role in the development of initiatives like the Guardians Run and Guardian Combined Games. Mike's generosity and unmatched commitment make him a true champion for LETR and the Special Olympics movement. Good evening. I'm Mike McDonnell of the Ontario Provincial Police, and I am honoured to be this year's uh, recipient of the Rob Plunkett Award. To be put in the same category as Rob, a stalwart supporter of the law enforcement torch run and Special Olympic athletes, uh, is humbling. I started with the Special Olympics 30 years ago as a runner and then became a regional coordinator. And in the last seven or eight years, I've been the uh, executive lead for the Ontario Pro Provincial Police's a support of the law enforcement torch run and Special Olympic athletes. I take away a lot from the athletes, their enthusiasm, their joy, and that of their families. We're gathered here this morning at the Guardians Run. It's the marquee event for the Ontario Provincial Police in our support of our athletes and their families. And rather than me go on as to how important it is for the athletes and their families, I'm going to let two of our athletes, two of my close friends, speak to you as to what this event, what the support of the law enforcement community means to them. My name is Monique Job, and I'm here to help on the run. So I beat commissioner, and I got first place, and then won in the race. I told him nice and easy, and then sprint, and I beat him this year. So next year, I'm not, I'll take him. I'll tell him. I'll take. I'll. I'll tell him to take a time, and then nice and flush, and then nice and easy, and then we we'll run presses together. Who I sports include is track and field. I do 100, 200, 400, long jump, relay, and everything. I'm a fast runner. And my best run is, is the 100, fast. Because my year of importance to see all my friends, and so people come out and cheer for everybody in the run and have fun. My name is Stephen Graham. I'm a specialist athlete. I'm going to Calgary in 2024 for speed skating. The law enforcement to me is the, they're the family that supports us gives us everyday life and keeps on doing it year by year. So I'd like to thank everybody who came out today and all the law enforcement team. Thank you. Congratulations, Mike. Our next award is new this year. It's honor the inspiring community work of Special Olympic athlete and local impact they create both on and off the field. Notre prochain prix est nouveau cette année. Il récompense le travail communautaire inspirant des athlètes dans l'Olympique spécial. And Nick, this first time winner of the Athlete Community Excellence Award is Lindsay Marquardt from Special Olympics, Saskatchewan. Hi, my name is Lindsay. I do Special Olympics. I do bowling track, walk, touchy, and walking and fitness. Earlier this year, Lindsay took home a bronze medal from Provincial Games as part of the Lakehead Bowling Team. Lindsay not only exhibits the best qualities looked for in a Special Olympics athlete, but she is also a great ambassador for the movement. If we don't win, try your best and cheer your team on. She is the first to welcome new members and is actively involved in community events and fundraisers where she is well known for raising awareness by sharing her story. 
Thank you for this reward. Thank you, Special Olympics. So excited to have this new category. Congratulations, Lindsay, and felicitations, Lindsay. And Nick, I think it's time for another surprise guest for our audience. Tonight, Nick, joining us, TSN Bar Downs, Jesse Pollock. Thanks, Vic and Nick. I was in Berlin, got to witness the Special Olympics World Games on my own. It was truly amazing to see coaches, athletes, and volunteers come together to create what was personally the coolest event I've ever been to in my life. Canada won a total of 96 medals, 46 of which were gold, some of which I got to see in person. Powerlifters, I'm looking at you. And in case you missed the action, here's a look at some of what you missed. All the amazing Team Canada athletes. You are amazing! Speaking of teams, here are the finalists for the Team of the Year. Rapids 1 de Roussillon, Special Olympics Quebec. The Razorbacks, Special Olympics Manitoba. And Team PEI Basketball, Special Olympics PEI. I'm very pleased to announce that the Special Olympics Team of the Year, coincidentally, comes from my home province of Manitoba, the Razorbacks. Congratulations! The Manitoba Razorbacks share an unstoppable passion for basketball that resonates through every play of theirs. The team has been competing for nearly 30 years with two original team members and many more new faces welcomed throughout the years. As a team, they provide opportunity for every athlete at every ability level to contribute, to learn and improve their skills. Their skilled and dedicated coaches are exceptional at helping each athlete achieve their goals. And off the court, the Razorbacks actively support Special Olympics, serving as ambassadors in fundraisers and events to help spread awareness for the movement. Our Razorbacks team would like to acknowledge how much this award means to us. We have spent so much time working together as a team that we are a family. We have had so many chances to go to different places and meet other athletes that our family keeps growing. A huge thank you to our coaches, Special Olympics Manitoba, to Special Olympics Canada, and everyone in Special Olympics. We are happy and proud to accept this award on behalf of our Razorbacks team. Thank you, Special Olympics. And now, it's time to announce our 2023 Athlete of the Year. And who better to hear from than our 2022 Athletes of the Year, Lisa Butler and my friend, Francis Stanley. Hello, Nancy. 
It's so great to be here. Hello, Francis. I was so excited when I got the call to join you in announcing this year's Athletes of the Year. We know how much this award means. Let's meet this year's finalists. Tyler Servant, Samantha Walsh, Tobreen Schufer, Michael Budden, Taylor Carter, and Gabriel Dupuis. It's a, a, oh, a, a first 23 hours of the year is Michael Banty from Switzerland, New Friend Land. Great question. For the past seven years, Special Olympics athlete Michael Budden has proudly represented his community of Stephenville, Newfoundland, first getting involved as a runner through his high school's Special Olympics program. Michael continued on to excel in athletics, cross-country skiing, snowshoeing, swimming, and curling. His dedication led to national and international success, most recently bringing home a gold medal in shot put from the Special Olympics World Games in Berlin this past summer. I am very excited to have won the Canadian Award for Male Special Olympic Athlete of the Year. Special Olympics has given me the opportunity to make new friends, meet new people, and have new amazing experiences. Unfortunately, Russia got cancelled, but I was still able to go to Germany to compete in the World Games and bring gold back home to my hometown. I would like to, th to thank my coach, as well as my team members from Bay St. George Bravehearts for supporting me up until now, as well as my community and my parents. Furthermore, I'm a Newfoundlander who is very proud and excited to have won the Canadian Award for Male Athlete of the Year in Special Olympics. Our second Athlete of the Year, again from Special Olympics Newfoundland, is Samantha Walsh. With nine years of experience under her belt, Samantha Walsh has left her mark in various sports, including snowshoeing, curling, swimming, bowling, and athletics. She stood atop the podium at local, provincial, national, and international competition. Her crowning achievement came at the 2023 Special Olympics World Games in Berlin, where she clinched a bronze medal in the standing long jump. Samantha is known for her calm and gentle demeanor and giving nature, and is loved and appreciated by her fellow athletes, volunteers, and coaches alike. I am Samantha Watts. And I am Sheila, her mom. And we were overwhelmed when Sam won Special Olympics National Athlete of the Year. What a moment. Sam, how did this award make you feel? Good, happy, excited. Why do you love Special Olympics? Fun friends. And Sam, who would you like to thank? Coach Frozy, Coach Christine, Mom. And we would like to thank all our coaches, volunteers, and athletes who support Sam every day. Thank you, Jesse, Francis, Lisa. Congratulations, Michael and Samantha. Something very good is going on in Newfoundland, isn't it? I would say so, Vic. Merci, Jesse, Francis, et Lisa. Et félicitations à Michael et à Samantha. It is time to move on to the prestigious Dr. Frank Hayton Atleaf Lifetime Achievement Award. Prix d'excellence, Dr. Frank Hayton, pour l'ensemble de la carrière sportive. And Nick, this award honors the pioneering figure of the Special Olympics movement. Dr. Frank Hayden, he's a remarkable man and one that we are all truly inspired by. And this year's award winner is... Darren Borskevich of Manitoba. Darren Borskevich first joined his local Special Olympics program in 1985 as a high performance athlete with an impressive record of 66 medals, including two bronze medals from Special Olympics World Games. Darren's dedication to his craft is unwavering. Even despite a setback during the 2023 Provincial Winter Games due to an injury, Darren's spirit remained unbroken as he participated in events by cheering on teammates. Darren is not only a hometown hero, he is a testament to the spirit and goals of inclusive sport. 
leaving behind a pathway of inspiration for others to follow their dreams. Darren loves Special Olympics. He loves to travel and meet many new friends. Of all the awards and achievements, winning gold in Austria was definitely the highlight. But winning this Dr. Frank Hayden Lifetime Achievement Award tops that. He is super proud. There, there are so many people that I want to thank Chichu Coach Alfie's the staff at Madoba Pasolomics, my family and friends, and the people from Russell and Aya, and an extra big thank you to my mom for always be there for me. She is my voice and my work, and thank you so much. It's getting to that time of the evening where we have one more award to go, and this year is the Harry Red Foster Award. And Nick, this award is named after the late Harry Red Foster. He was a uh, sportscaster and an advertising executive who funded Special Olympics in Canada. And like Mr. Foster, our winner has contributed significantly to the development, awareness, and success of Special Olympics in our country. Cette personne a contribué de façon importante au développement, aux activités de sensibilisation et au succès d'Olympique spécial au pays. I'll tell you, Anik, it gives me great pleasure. It is a thrill. This year's award goes to Mark Tewksbury. Mark Tewksbury is a celebrated Canadian Olympic champion and a pioneering advocate for inclusivity and ethics in sports. His remarkable swimming career includes Olympic gold, silver and bronze medals, along with seven world records. Mark has always understood how important sport can be as a vehicle for inclusion. He credits witnessing his first Special Olympics event for inspiring a change in his perspective that would lead him once again to the top of the podium at the 1992 Olympic Games in Barcelona. He then went on to stand alongside Special Olympics athletes on a global stage not once but twice as honorary coach of Special Olympics Team Canada. Hi everyone, Mark Tewksbury here, the very excited, and you know how excitable I am, uh, award winner for the Harry Red Foster Award. So. I'm not going to thank anyone because if I started to thank people, I would have to thank the whole movement. Genuinely, everyone, you know how much this means to me and thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, as an athlete, I was really idealistic and I really believed that sport had the power to transform communities, to make the world a better place. And at Special Olympics, I've always seen that. I saw it at the swimming pool when I was still a swimmer that inspired me. I saw it at the local and national and world games when I became a board member and got to see our athletes in action and programs coast to coast to coast. I saw it in action when I mo was able to mobilize other people that wanted to champion Special Olympics and created the Champions Network, sort of advocates and spokespeople from media and sports celebrities that also love this movement and see that it transforms communities through sport. Thank you for letting me be part of this community. And, and my partner, Rob Mavey, who is completely part of this journey, he's the only person I'm gonna call out because he also just has nothing but love for this movement. And thanks for this incredible award. I was so honored to be on the board with great people. I got to serve as chair of the 50th anniversary celebrations. Couldn't have been a better sort of pinnacle of my term of leadership. So on that note, thanks for this sort of salute for a lifetime of achievement in this movement. And um, Nick, uh, Vic, you know, like all of us, this is a really sticky organization. Once you're part of it, you can't leave. So I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Congratulations to all of this year's award winners. Take care of yourselves and each other. Good luck to everyone heading to the 2024 Calgary Olympic Winter Games, and I'll see you there. See you all in Calgary. I will be wearing my snowshoes. Kiki because of Nick and all the other great athletes will be at the Special Olympics Canada Winter Games in Calgary, February the 27th through March the 2nd of next year. So till next time, thank you all for joining us. Salut tout le monde.